hey guys so today we'll learn how to create our custom navigation link will be fully customized you can add your all button and text with some animations reusable easy to use i hope you like it and thank you for watching and have a nice day bye all i have here the content view and i have great nav view it's very simple for each displaying text inside scroll view if i tap on the nav link will take me to the nav view i can just scroll i have here back button take me back to the content view it's very simple I want to create a custom navigation link just like this one. It's very simple to display and it will be like this. You pass in the title and inside the view. It will be like this. If we press on the button, take us to other view. If we scrolling, there is some animation like when you scroll. And we can go back to the view. I need to subtract, give it a name. I want to pass in content. Will be type overview. And here a view. So this content will be just like VStack, like when you do VStack is asking you for the content. You can pass in everything you want inside the view. It will be the same, this one. So on a finishing up, we have here a button and the text, when you press on the button with will dismiss or take back to the view so I need dismiss and the title at environment will be dismiss dismiss var dismiss and I need the title Will be type string and I need to pass in the content var content will be up type content and I need state for the y offset will be cg float equals zero we can use the y offset oh wait a second bar y offset okay we can use the y offset to create the animation like when we scrolling as you see so we need to know when to create the animation and i need initialize the view because we will pass in a view I will just delete this too this one and this and I need here a view builder return as view Comment B to make sure no problems. There is a problem. Okay, let's see. Oh, here you need to pass in the content. Content. Comment B. Everything is good. Okay. On the view, we pass in the content. And if you see, if we click on this, we have this button. I don't want this button. So let's make it hidden. Dot navigation, back button, hidden, true. 
I want to add my own button. I will just copy paste. It's just a button with some UI. It's very simple. I need toolbar. Inside toolbar. For the placement, I want it on leading. A view will be the image. Uh, sorry, the button. Back button. Let's test this out. So in here, I will say custom nav link text and the view. We go to the view, we have our button, press, let's add the text, I need another toolbar, will be just text, request in the title, Make it bold, font, title. For the same, we make it here. As you see. So now let's add the animations to the text on the button. I want to add the content inside scroll view and V stack. And I want to add a background color to the V stack. You will know in a second. So if we go to the view, we see the background is red for the V stack. It's starting over here on the top and end over there. So based on the position of the V stack on the top. I want to create the animation for the text like if we for example scroll to the top well the offset or the position of the vista will be like one two three four five and this this one the text and the button gets smaller if we get back to the bottom will be five four three two one zero and so on so to do this I need geometry reader and preference key. So first let's add the geometry reader. I just delete this. I wanna adjust the color, be clear. So now Let's say for example do the frame width. We can have a size like geometry dot size dot width for example. So we can have the size because we are inside geometry reader. But what if I want to use the geometry reader value outside the geometry reader? So we can't over here say geometry reader is nothing. So this why we need a preference key to get the value from geometry reader to outside geometry reader and use it to any view we want. Let's add the preference key. We do struct, give it a name, will be type Preference key static var default value of type CG float because we have 
we use it for the y offset equals zero and reduce over here we have type cg float and on both cg float will be value plus equal next value So now let's use this one. We say here color dot clear dot reference key we type in this one so chrome y offset dot self and the value will be geometry dot frame in dot global global this mean the screen width and the height for the phone and we need the track on the on the top y dot main y as we talked before we want to track on the top over here so now i want to take the value from the geometry and update the y offset so now I want to take the value of geometry reader and update the y offset we say on preference key we pass in the scroll scroll y offset dot self and the value will be y offset equal come on what is the equal equal value divided by 50 i want to add the y offset for example let's say for the button for now we see the changing so offset dot offset y y offset okay if we scroll to the top you see the button is moving to the top too but is moving too much I want maybe moving like 10 20 and get to the bottom like you see I don't like this to control this what we can do is we say y offset equal max value I want to use a scale effect min I will explain in a second one value by 50 so we'll start one and will be end to 0 0.8 maximal no less no more just 0 0.8 divide by 50 how fast you want if we see if we do 10 will be much faster reduce 50 for now and I will add the scale effect y offset so now if we go to the bottom if you see let's do it dark so we can see it easily we scroll to the top get smaller and if you do it like 10 when you're scrolling get fast very fast I like 100 like the second you scrolling will start get smaller you see 
So if you want to get smaller, you can do it five. I think eight is good. I want to do the same for the text. Add it over here. We're scrolling to the bottom. Both get smaller. Scroll back. It's nice. So now we have already added the VStack on scroll view. We don't need this anymore. So we can just delete it. And you add any view you want inside the custom navigation link. If we maybe you want to display like lazy V stack, anything you want, it work just fine. We get back. If you have any question, let me know in a comment. I'll be happy to help and thank you for watching.